What you're seeing on your screen right now are my controls. And as you can see, heavy attack bound to forward slash. Now, no heavy attack. Because today we're going to be seeing if you can win in Brawlhalla without using a single signature. Random. On the random. Took me two clicks to get that one. I was alt tabbed. Don't blame me. Okay. Hattori Thatch Thor. Now, honestly, not the worst lineup. Because if you can't signature, I guess I should preface this. If you can't signature, it also means you can't recovery, nor can you ground pound. So your offstage game is going to be a lot different. Uh, definitely a lot more risky, that's for sure. I am able to dodge though. I'm recording this immediately after the video where I played without dodging, and it's probably going to be in my muscle memory to not dodge a little bit, so we're going to... We're gonna have to work through that as we go along. But yeah, I can't use recovery, and I can't use uh, ground pound. So right there, I inputted ground pound, and nothing came out. So, gotta work on that. We're gonna see if it's a uh, if it's doable. I have a feeling it's it's doable. It's just a little bit of a little bit of a challenge, especially if you run into uh, into weapons where recovery is a huge part of your kit, like guns, for example. Recovery is one of your main killing options, as well as the spear right here and on sword honestly Hattori is a good example of a character that's pretty impacted by this although she does have a good amount of movement speed so coming back to the stage won't be the worst thing in the world ow uh, and we're just gonna see i can gc now i can dash so again that's something i'm gonna have to get used to for some reason i just looked at, out of my peripheral vision and i saw that uh there was a bomb and i thought i picked it up and that's why i walked forward like that because i thought i had a bomb in my hand i tried to throw it and none of that happened clearly but you know, gotta work with what you got. Oh, I tried to get a ledge cancel there. I tried to get a ledge cancel again. I didn't get it. I'm a failure. Uh, I don't even know. I tried though, and that's what matters. That's what really matters. End of the day. Ow. Could I have avoided that? Probably. Did I think to? No, not really. Why? You're, you probably know better than I do. I could tell you it's because I, I thought about spot dodging and then didn't because I don't have dodge, but I do have dodge now, so whose problem is it really? It's definitely my problem. I feel like certain weapons are going to have a much harder time than others. Like uh, Suri on Katars, I think Katars are a great example. Uh, Sword, on the other hand, you don't really even need signatures to KO. You got Downlight Sarah. I mean, Downlight Recovery is definitely uh, a great option to use, but... You got downlight Sarah, so not a big deal. This is actually the same exact player that I played against when I was was not able to dodge just now. So we'll see what having dodge and dash in my kit allows me to do. Right there I tried to ground pound, and then I tried to recovery instinctually, and I did neither of those and just stood still. So, yeah. But there we go. That was a nice interrupted knockout. Yeah, Katars, I think, are a weapon that's going to need... Uh, I'm going to need to swap off to the sword when they enter kill percent, because... Killing with light attacks on Katars, I mean, it's just not what they're made for. They're made to build up damage and... Okay, I'm just kidding. They're meant to kill with light attacks. That was not the opponent's misplay, that was my skill on the Katars. Right there, that's what you saw. Observe. Nothing but, but raw Katar skill. Katar talent. Um, but yeah, Katars are good at building up damage and avoiding hits and having like this little mini 360 degree force field, but not necessarily getting those knockouts unless with recovery or with a signature. And given that I don't have either of those, I may be struggling a little bit. I thought they might dodge horizontally. Yeah, so like in this situation in orange, I'm going to try and pick up the sword, see what I can do with that. And oh, I just tried to GC NSIG and I'm so dumb because I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. That's literally the video. Is Literally, I can't do it. Why did I think I could do it? I don't know. Artemis Jala Yumiko. Okay. I can work with that. Yumiko, normally, I mean, I even have a whole video on her uh, her hammer, how normally her signatures create a lot of uniqueness on the hammer, but I guess today it'll just be an ordinary old hammer, and that's totally fine. I'm a bit worried about my scythe on this Artemis, because I have a feeling I'm probably going to go tr super deep trying to get a kill, and then die, because I don't have recovery to make it back, but we'll cross that bridge when we, gr when we get there, you know? That'll be... That'll be something to discover and find out. Oh, never mind. We'll never find it out. A bit of redemption. Bit of redemption. I have the scythe on Nyx now, so we're going to be able to see it regardless. The scythe capabilities up against a, a Jiro scythe mirror match. Yeah, guns are another one of the weapons that I was describing. How recovery is super central to their kit. So I kind of got to change the way I play, especially uh, hovering around them and kill percent when they're grounded and stuff like that. Let's see. That should be the KO. Nice. Didn't even have to go deep off stage if, uh, if you got two well-placed dares, that's all it takes. 
I do recommend uh, if you want to have a little bit of fun. These challenges are pretty interesting. Right there, I just tried to recover. I'm st I keep doing it. It's such muscle memory at this point. Um, yeah, they're pretty fun. And they can also challenge you to think in different ways. Oftentimes, people can get stuck in the same habits over and over again. And uh, they don't really think about movement and picking different options. And this can kind of force you to do that. So if that's something you're down to try, I mean, there's really no stakes in it. Unless you make them, I suppose. And yeah, give it a shot. Give it a try. I think... So, so, uh, I just couldn't speak. Stopping yourself from uh, using signatures if it's something that you tend to use a lot uh, can be a good way to learn different light attacks and the spacing of everything. And yeah, uh, as you get to higher level play, people start to use signatures less and less comparatively to their light attacks. So if, if that's something you're interested in, you know, leveling up to a higher level of play, ranking up and everything like that, using light attacks is extremely valuable. I might be dead here. No, I'm fine. So yeah, if you want to try this out, go ahead. All you got to do is unbind your heavy attack button. It's not like dodge where even though, when I unbound dodge, even though I had dodge unbound, I still had to remove it from my keyboard because for some reason it wasn't unbound. So yeah. All right, en enough of that talk. Let's get back into the game. I haven't really been uh, focusing much, so I haven't been able to note any situations where I probably would have used a heavy attack. Well, I just mis misinputted there. I meant to side air, but Okay, I got the kill anyway. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't make fun of me. It's fine. I think next time I do one of these, I may start to combine them. I mean, we'll see. I enjoy doing these even as one-offs. You know, I, I did playing without jumping twice. I did playing without uh, what, what, what was it? Using dodge? Yeah, I, I literally did that ten minutes ago. I don't know why I'm forgetting. That's kind of I'm just super forgetful. But uh, I might start to combine them. Like, can you win with only dodge? As in, you can't heavy attack, you can't jump. The only movement that you're allowed is dodge. I feel like that one would be pretty difficult. But uh, maybe it'd be fun to try. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that'll that that's for a future me to decide. But ooh, gauntlets! Another one of those weapons. Right there, I just instinctually tried to recovery. I saw they didn't have dodge, and that would have been the KO. But it was not the KO. With bow as well, downlight into recovery. That's your kill. That's uh, your kill combo. Now I'm gonna go for downlight nair, I suppose, or downlight cider if they're on the edge. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. It's an interesting challenge to say the least. It's a bit extreme for sure. If we go back to what I was saying in the last game, where you're practicing like different options that you wouldn't normally use, that uh, like this this is not something you would do even in a real game. Like at this point, I'd start using heavy attacks. I'd start using signatures. Having a ser kill at that. Uh, percent range is pretty low kill efficiency, but uh, yeah, it is fun to try. On the complete opposite of the spectrum, though, <laughs> we have Zul here, who will kill you with a light attack for sure. Definitely, definitely no problems there. Um, all right, I gotta be careful of this can of this uh, great sword though. Let's see what my cannon can do. Cannon probably still is one of my worst weapons, if I'm being real, but. I'll make it work. The side air is good enough, or the down air I should say, to probably carry me a little bit. Are they gonna go for a finisher? They are. I didn't punish it though, unfortunately. That's alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really played against many Makos, so that's my excuse on not punishing that. Uh, is it valid? Is it a valid excuse? It's up to you to judge. Alright. Normally I'd probably do a ground pound there to just cover a bunch of dodges, given that I'm not super familiar with how this person plays yet, but that is an unfortunate drop. <laughs> that is a very unfortunate drop. But I'm, I'm gonna recover high, they're not really threatening threatening me for it, and I don't want to recover low with no options, because normally you would have a recovery to get your back and everything, but now clearly I don't. I, I don't have a recovery, I can't make it back. It's fine. It's worth it. I just wanted to play Ragnar. That's all it was. I hope you understand. You know, I'm a big fan of the Ragnar. That's that's why. Because, you know, one of my friends actually put a Ragnar skin into the game. Fun fact, I don't know if you know that. But uh, Nightshade Ragnar? Yep. It's that one. So normally, in a normal situation, I would, uh, I'm just dead here. Normally, I would jump out to escape that Nair into Sarah, because that's actually not, uh, like, you can just jump out of that Scythe Nair and escape any any situation like that but because i don't have as many options as i normally would to recover back to stage i didn't want to risk it and i just tanked the hit anyway in hope and i ended up dying for it not the hugest deal in the world but i just tried to do the mako dunk and clearly don't have that in my toolkit 
I'm gonna I'm gonna rock with the greatsword. Greatsword because of the finishers has a lot of KO power. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, it didn't kill yet. That's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk back. And then I'm gonna do that. Nice, 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 nice. Just like I was explaining earlier with sword and with axe, uh, KO power with only signatures is not something that hammer really needs. Downlight Sayer is such a strong kill option. Probably the strongest uh, combo killer in the game, or light attack combo that kills in the game. I mean, I pretty much said the same thing. So no real worries, honestly. Cassidy's hammer is a hammer that you definitely use signatures more than normal because of that lasso. But if you're able to get a stomp like that, I mean, look at that range on the stomp. It's kind of crazy. It hits a lot of aerial opponents. I think that hitbox could probably be tweaked a little bit, but that's uh, neither here nor there. You know, that's another story. Right in that situation, I could have done a downlight into side sig, and because the Orion was slightly off stage, it would have been a true combo and killed. Uh, in my mind, I was thinking downlight side sig. In my hands, downlight side sig was not possible, so I just kind of whiffed there. Kind of did a bit of a boo boo, but not the biggest deal. We all get boo boos, and that's what band aids are for. And my band aid are these Cassidy blasters. These blast blasties. That that didn't work at all. That didn't worked in my head. You know, when some sometimes things work in your head when you and then you say them out loud and it didn't work at all. That's that that's what just happened there. I'm trying to get a I'm trying to get a combo here. I'm gonna nair so they go into the island and then no. Oh! Okay. Well, you saw the idea. Ideally, and I kind of sound like a broken record at this point. Ideally, if I had recovery, I would have done nair into recovery and spiked downward. But you know why I didn't do that. So we can all move on. We can we can move on. Forget that happened. Forget I tried anything. And let's just play some scythe. Let's just let's just play some scythe. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go deep off stage and, and SD. I already know it. I already know it. I I, I, war I already warned you earlier, but it's gonna happen for sure. All right, I'm gonna downlight here. I can't ground pound. I was gonna say I'm gonna ground pound. You would think at this point I would learn. Like the number of games it took me to get used to not dodging in the last video was like three. It took me like three games to get used to it. I don't know how many games it's been in this one, but. Clearly, I'm not not used to it nearly to the same effect. I guess that just means that I spam SIGs all the time, is, is really what I'm telling you, but I'm not embarrassed of it. So, that was almost big brained. Almost being the keyword in that sentence. Also, big being the lie of that sentence, but, you know. Really, Scythe. I need that recovery to knock out off stage in those situations. I wanted recovery to knock out in that situation, but side air will do the job. What this really is is farming for battle pass. In all honesty, because you know how you gotta get those uh, those side air knockouts. That, that that's what it is. I'm just forcing myself to kill with side air by not being able to kill with anything else. Now Orion, if I'm not mistaken, is one of the propaganda legends, the the poster childs of a. Uh, of signatures, if I if I'm not mistaken, there you know I, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not super up to date with with whatever the Brawlhalla thing is, but he's been like that for a while. So I'm here to tell you that you don't need to play Orion with signatures. All right, and I will prove it to you in this stock right here. Almost in that string. Oh, if he bounced off the wall, I would have gotten that side air. Pretty sure, but I got the KO anyway, so no biggie. No biggie. See how I jumped out of there with the with the with the ledge cancel. Definitely didn't need to do that because I do have dodge now. You know what it is? I think the reason why it's taking me so long to get used to not being able to uh, to signature is because I was just not able to dodge like 10 minutes ago. I guess 15 at this point, and it like the two are kind of colliding in my brain. So like I thought I was I was trying to say, oh look how I dodged that with a with the ledge. Can I tried to lance recovery. It's fine. I lived. Um, I tried to dodge that sidekick. Uh, horn, whatever it's called, with a with a ledge cancel. I didn't need to do that. I have dodge. I don't know why I thought that was necessary, but my brain is all confuddled at the moment. So sometimes it happens. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, what do you want me to say? You want me to lie? I'm not gonna lie. When have I when have I lied? Don't well don't answer that question though, because probably have an answer for it. Just I I just. It's, you know, sometimes you ask a question you don't want the answer to. You know sometimes how you do that? I'm gonna keep stomping. I'm, I'm just gonna stomp until my heart's, heart's content, her heart's desire is fulfilled. 
Okay, that was a uh, intimidation tactic. It's very common in the in the trenches. What I just did, intimidation. Ooh, that was a good dodge. Dodge that hammer nair. But will you dodge this hammer nair? No, you will not. See, look at hammer. Hammer is honestly chilling. Recovery is a big part of hammer's movement. Um, being able to have such a high priority hitbox like that, but. Not the end of the world. Really not the end of the world. I don't have any light attack that sends down though, I'm realizing. Cider kind of. Oh, I jumped into that. I'm dead. I'm dead here. But I gotta do what I can. You know, gotta get that extra damage on the weapon toss. That's what really matters. I have Mako to finish again. I feel like this is the second time. But, yeah. Bo nice. I don't know what's going on if my random is breaking or something, but I feel like I've gotten Cassidy like three or four times now. Maybe, maybe I'm mistaken there, but I don't know. Feels like I, I, I've just been a Cassidy boy today, and I'm fine with that, you know? Don't get me wrong, I do like me some Cassidy, but I don't know. Uh, is it just me? Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm not crazy here. I keep getting hammer. Maybe this is a big conspiracy, I'm not actually playing random, you know? I, I guarantee there will be some people that think that. And to those people, I say, you are correct. And you were right about everything the whole time. And I apologize. Oh, that would be another situation to side sig. Bit unfortunate, but I ended up getting the KO anyway. Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're fully correct. This has been not only socially, but genetically engineered to trick you into thinking I'm a random player. When in reality, I'm a Cassidy main. Um, so there you go. There's your evidence. Oh, I'm kind of at a loss. I'm starting to, I'm starting to, uh, what's the word? Like, phase out. My ha my head is getting cloudy. I'm starting to not pay attention. As you can see right there, I walked into that side sig from the Orion. I tried to use my recovery. Did I think maybe I don't have recovery here like I haven't for the past 22 minutes and 46 seconds of recording footage? No, I didn't think that even for a second. So, it's probably a sign that I should stop. I'll, I'll do, I'll do one more after this because... You know, usually I like to announce it's the last one and then do like a little mini live commentary of it and whatever I've been doing for like this match has not been that, so. One more after this one and then I'll call it. Then I'll call it. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Th th this is what I'm saying. I'm s I'm so spaced out. I don't know. I don't know. What, am I what year is it? <laughs> like what? I don't. I'm going to lose. I don't want to lose. And this is a challenge. We're supposed to win. See that? See that weapon toss? Never mind. I am a champion. I'm, I'm, I'm taking this one home for the ho for the boys back at home. You know the home team. Home team colors. That's what it's for. Boosh. Oh, wrong way. I, I I didn't go far enough. I wanted to go further. I wanted to go further. Further in the home cup to bring it back for the home team. Who better to end it off on than Rayman? My hero. My prince, my sweet prince Rayman. I do love Rayman. Um, so, again, no no, no one better to finish off, really, than him. I, I am spacing out, though. You could tell, did you, like, could you tell the giant difference in the decisions I made, my gameplay, that last dog versus literally that, the rest of that entire game? Like, you could just tell, right? It was pretty, pretty visually obvious. I feel like maybe it was visually obvious. Maybe not, maybe I'm a crazy person. This is a cider. That 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 is a cider. Ideally, that would be a GCN sig, to to get the knockout. But again, can't end sig. But it's fine. It's fine. It's a okay. I still have axe. Ooh, I thought that that would. I th I thought I thought that would work. You saw the idea, right? I don't need to explain the idea. You saw the idea. The idea was there. Yeah, we we all thought about it. We all thought of the idea. See, I just unlocked that taunt. You can't you can't just use that on me. Side sig. Ensig. Very bold. Very bold. Take the mine. Come here. Go bye bye. Rayman's gotta finish it off. If I can't finish it off on Rayman, I will feel incomplete. So I'm gonna finish it off on Rayman. I gotta do what I gotta do. Alright. Oh, never mind. No string there. I'm so scared. I'm so scared of Taros. Don't don't kill me with Taros, please. Please, I can't ground pound. Okay, I gotta kill with Axe. Axe is the one with the killing power. Axe is the one with the with the light attack killing power. Not the bomb, not the mine, not the Axe side sig. That move was just buffed. I don't know why I threw it away. Why'd I throw it away? Why'd I throw it away? Take take my gauntlets away from me. 
Oh, I dodged that. I can't punish with anything big. That's, that's the best I could do. Cider. Axe. Spike ball. Spike ball. My friend. Okay, I killed my friend. That's fine. I do that all the time. In game, though. Alright, at this point, I'm just trolling. At this point, I gotta kill unarmed, right? I gotta do it. I gotta do it. At, at this point, we're, we've gone too far. We've gone way too far. This is this has gone on too long. Be gone. That was actually really close. All right, there it is. There's playing Brahalla without signatures. Again, I don't know what I'm gonna title this one, but we're gonna figure it out together. Farm in the battle pass as always. Take care and eat bear.